Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, real quick, I want to tell you guys that I am really, really close to uh, getting that monetization of my channel. I checked today. I am short 275 hours. So I think, what is today? Yes, I'll definitely be monetized by the end of the month. Um, before the end of the month, actually. Um, well, I don't know how long it takes for it all to happen. But in any case, I'm going to have the hours that I need. So thank you, everyone, for uh, watching my videos. If you watched them and just let them play in the background, thank you so much for doing that. Um, look, I'm not going to get rich from the channel, but it's great to get a little bit of money from it. So who knows? Maybe I can buy a tube of paint. Maybe I can buy a canvas. Who knows? So. Anyways, uh, so tonight I'm going to be doing a um, dirty cup, straight pour, and I'm going to use multiple cups. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three or four cups. So uh, it's only a uh, 20 by 24 canvas, so uh, we'll figure it, I'll figure that out as we go along here. So let's get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about that canvas size and the colors. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, what we got is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas, which is tape and push pen on the back. Um, my colors are very minimal today. So today I'm going to be, as you can see, I painted the edges black. Um, I am going to do multi-cup dirty pours and go to pour them out in a straight pour fashion. Um, so my black is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black that I painted the sides. And I've got a, it's pretty much black here in this cup that is, uh, was used as table scrapes. So it's got a little bit of everything, but it's definitely more black than anything else. I am using Deco Art Americanum Decor Metallics. This is a mixture of the emerald green along with the sapphire. Now, it's not the dark green like the mysterious. This is a mixture of about half sapphire, half green. Next color I'm using is the uh, folk art in the fire opal. Amsterdam Titanium White with some satin enamels from Deco Art. And then I'm also just using the Americana Decor Deco Art Sapphire Blue. My paints today are mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint. And then I'm taking a little page from Gina DeLuca's book and I thinned it out with water and Floetrol mixtures. So it's a 90% water, 10% Floetrol. So I took this bottle here, filled it up with water and added 10% Floetrol to it. And so that's what I have thinned these down. Because I'm doing a dirty pour, I want them very thin. Now I did a painting um, a few weeks back that it was a dirty pour and I did multi cups as well. And so what I'm going to do is throw the cups all over the table. <laughs> so we are going to do four cups, I think. For this size canvas, we're going to need about 17 ounces of paint. These are five ounce cups. So in theory, if I fill these up, that's 20 ounces, which I don't need. So I'm thinking maybe I won't fill them all the way up. Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to put on my apron and we'll start pouring the colors. So we're going to pour a little bit of black here in the bottom. Got a little booger. Low trawl booger. So we're going to pour this up high. So what we want to do is we're going to pour this up high. We want the color to sink to the bottom. Fire 
Opa. White. A little drizzle of black on top. Do the same thing with the next two cups. Let's fill up one more. We won't go completely full. going to flood the canvas with our black We're going to put the first one right here. Put the second one here. Now, the longer we let these sit, the cells are going to develop. It 
and we're going to put the fourth one right here. So now we're just going to let this sit and let the cells develop. Because the paints were so thin, the cells are going to take time. They'll start to develop. You can see them really starting to bubble up now, which is great. So I'm going to let this sit. I will time lapse this for you and get it through here very fast. But you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about there. Give it a little torch, kind of help it along. Look how those cells are developing. I think what I want to do is shift it down a little bit this way to the, my right first. Now these paints are thin, so they're going to move fast. So I'm not going to raise the canvas with a lot of effort. I'm going to go very easy.
What to do with that middle space? I did an error and I should have gotten my four cups closer because I created that black hole and I don't like it. But I'm loving everything else, so I poured this ring pour right in the middle. We're gonna see what happens now.
Okay, so note to self, when you're pouring your cups, and I don't know why I didn't think about this when I was doing it, you've got to pour them close enough so you don't create that huge gap like I had. And I kind of panicked and I was wondering what I was going to do with that, but I was able to salvage that, so I'm okay with that. So I am going to clean up my edges, torch, and then I'm going to bring you guys in. Now I'll start you up here in the top left. All right, I'll show you this dry. I'll be right back. Here we go. This dried amazing. I love the composition. I love that I added that extra uh, ring pour in the center to start uh, to close up that gap. So happy. Let me bring you in here. Really, really pleased with this. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.